Spurs just signed Dominic Solanke and in today's video we're gonna take them over and try to make them the best team in the world with him. We're also gonna see how he's gonna develop at Spurs and if he can finally deliver a trophy to this club. Imagine what type of a hero he's gonna become if he delivers Spurs a trophy. So let's just not waste any more time and start the Spurs rebuild with Dominic Solanke. Our budget for the first season is 100 million and we gave 5 million for Archie Gray because Spurs signed him in real world. He's currently 72 overall, only 17 years of age. He can play as a center midfielder or as a right back, but for now he's gonna come off the bench. But so far this team is looking amazing, man. They do have very strong defense in my opinion. The problem is that a lot of these guys are super young and they need a lot of time to develop themselves. Pedro Porro, he's 82 overall, but he's 23 years of age. Christian Romero also 83. Mickey Van de Veer is 80 overall, but he's 22 years of age. And of course, Destin Udoji, he's 20 years of age. But I think we're one midfielder short of actually reaching top four by the end of the season. Currently, we do have Bisuma, who is 80 overall, but he's 26 years of age. And of course, Pepe Sar has 70 pace and 65 shooty. He's only 20 years of age, but I think we need someone that is better than both of these uh, guys. So let me show you who that is. And this is gonna be none other than Matt O'Reilly from Celtic. He's such an amazing midfielder, man. We gave them nearly 20 million plus Oliver Skip, but let's just be honest with each other. We're not gonna use Oliver Skip. Now Matt O'Reilly is 78 overall. He can play as a center midfielder, as a cam or even as a holding midfielder. His stats are looking superb in my opinion. He's 22 years of age, 6 foot 2 tall and I think his future is super bright at Spurs. And with the addition of O'Reilly, I think the team is complete for the first season. Our attack is looking amazing with Sonaldo as our left winger. Of course, Dominic Sulanke, what a player he's gonna be for Spurs in my opinion. And and Jan Kulusevski, he's a very interesting one. He's currently 82 overall, 23 years of age, but he has 75 pace and 77 shooting. But for now, we're gonna start him instead of Brandon Johnson, who has 89 pace and 74 shooting. But I think he's gonna be great coming off the bench. We're also gonna choose Tiki Taka style of play. So let's start simulating and let's see what's gonna happen in the first season. And Dominic Solanke had a fantastic season at Spurs, man. He couldn't manage to stop scoring goals after goals after goals. He scored 33 goals in his first ever season as a Spurs player. But the most interesting thing is that he grew with 6 overall to 84, man. Wow, what a machine he turned to be already in the first season. Also, Sunaldo, what a season he had as a captain of Spurs. He scored 34 goals and assisted 10 times. Also, they Jan Kulusevski, man, 13 goals and 14 assists is a brilliant for his right wing position. Madison added 18 assists. Wow, these boys are performing like a Premier League champions. They were not that far away of winning its first finish second with 85 points. Only 11 points below the first Manchester City. But we finish in the top four, which is awesome. And we finish with a huge gap to the fifth Liverpool, man. But the top four is crazy. Crazy. Aston Villa is there and also Newcastle. Our biggest arrival, Arsenal finished 8 with 55 points. We collected 30 more points than Arsenal. If that doesn't deserve our likes, Spurs fans, what does? Well, maybe winning our first trophy also does deserve our like. We're currently in the final of the FA Cup and there we're gonna face Leicester. Wow, this is gonna be a very, very interesting game and this is our first chance to win a major trophy with Spurs. But the most important thing is how this team is developing and they're growing super fast, man. Look at it, Pedro Porro, 86 overall, Christian Romero, 86, Mickey Van de Ven, 84 overall, Destin Udoji, 85 overall. Our midfielders, they're developing amazingly. Even the players on the bench are progressing really well. Brennan Jones is now 80 overall. Archie Gray, 75 overall. Wow, the future of these Spurs is so bright. And we win our first trophy with Spurs. We should be the favorites versus Leicester, but let's see what's gonna happen. Big chance here for Leicester. Fatao, this is a dangerous one. What a move from Fatao. Wow, he's so fast, man. My 
we did it, but what a save from Vicario. Wow, but Leicester has a superstar in Fatal, man. He destroyed us. So far, Leicester are dominating us. I honestly cannot believe that they're doing so well, but I have a good feeling that we're gonna just catch them on either one of our counterattacks, man, and we're gonna open this score, and from there on, no one can stop us, and maybe this is gonna be our chance right now here. Dejan Kulosevsky to Madison. Madison, James Madison! What a save from Hermansen! Wow! Dominic Sulanke, come on Sulanke, you should be the star of this team. Sulanke! What a save from Hermansen, but come on boys, we're playing better! Oh, Huming Son right now, nice. To Matt O'Reilly, ooh, O'Reilly right now, nice, nice. Come on, Dominic Sulanke, this should be 1-0, and it is 1-0 for us. Let's go, we crushed Leicester, and Dominic Sulanke is giving us the chance to win our first major trophy in that rebuild, and if that doesn't deserve a like, what does? But we need to be careful right now with Fatal. he's super dangerous for Leicester. Jamie Vardy also here. Nice, 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 nice. Bisuma. What a holding midfielder Bisuma is. And can we now catch them on the counter-attack and score here the second? This is gonna be amazing. Ooh, O'Reilly here with a lot of free space. Let's cross it. Come on, Jan Kulosevsky. No, oh, what a bad first touch from Kulosevsky. Ooh, Fatal is dangerous. Oh no, Jamie Vardy. Is he gonna have a party? No, he will not have a party at least versus Spurs. What a save from Vicario. And with that save, we secure our first major trophy in the review. Hopefully next season, we're going to be able to win either the Premier League or the Champions League. So let's see what's going to happen. Wow, we received over 200 million for the second season. This is crazy, man. And I'm thinking about signing a better right winger than Dejan Kulusevski. I know that he had a fantastic first season. He's 85 overall he's only 24 years of age but he's more like a cam to me rather than a winger so that's why he's gonna be the rotation of james madison and we're gonna bring a proper right winger to spurs and since we do have over 200 million why just not bring one of the best young wingers this is kvicha kvarachkelia aka kvaradona we paid napoli 150 million plus solomon our winger for Kvitsa, but what a superstar we bring to Spurs, man. He's currently 88 overall, has 88 pace and 81 shooting, but look at his dribbling. 90 dribbling is amazing. 5-star skill moves, 5-star weak foot. He's only 23 years of age. I'm super excited for this season. I think with this addition, we turn into the favorites to win the Premier League. Tell me in the comments, what do you think? Can we actually win that in the second season? And the performance of Dominic Solanke, everything is possible. He scored again over 30 goals in his second season as a Spurs player. He's now 87 overall, but look at Sonaldo, man. He scored 28 goals and assisted 18 times. Now he is 92 overall. At the age of 32, he is still progressing amazingly. Also, the uncle. Kulosevsky, what a performance from this Cam row. He scored 17 goals and assisted 15 times, but I reckon he played a lot as a right winger because Kvitsa Kvarchkelia played only 18 games and scored only 3 times and assisted only once. He grew to 91, which is amazing, but I expected much, much better performance from him. Oh, and this time we were even closer of winning the Premier League, but we again finished a second, this time with only four points less than the first Liverpool, but we're getting there. And I do believe that in the upcoming seasons, we're gonna win the Premier League. In the Champions League, we won our group quite comfortable with 13 points. Then in the round of 16, we destroyed Braga 5-2 on aggregate in the quarterfinals we destroyed Leverkusen now 4-0 but in the semi-final, Paris Saint-Germain eliminated us 2-1 on aggregate. And they're gonna face Lazio in the final. The same Lazio that finished second in our group now is in the Champions League final. Oh wow, this is super surprising. But maybe next season 
we can also be there and with how this team is performing why the hell not man our weakest area is the cdm position of bisuma who is currently 84 overall he's 28 years of age and i don't think that he is gonna develop that much but other than that i think we do have a sensational squad and if these boys didn't win either the premier league or the champions league next season this is gonna be such a failure and for that to happen we signed Benazer in the third season i think he's gonna stabilize our midfield even more he's currently 87 overall he has 82 pace and 83 physical also 87 a dribbling and now he completed the midfield man like this team should win everything this season just look at also the players on our bench brandon johnson 82 overall kuloseski is now 89 Bisuma is gonna be our holding midfielder that can come off the bench and hopefully win us a lot of uh, games. Also, we do have Pepe Sar who is 83 overall. Archie Gray is still at that team. He's now 78 overall at the age of 19. Radu Dragushin is the backup center back. And of course, Jet Spence is the backup right back of Pedro Poro. And now with how this team is looking, we should be the favorites to win a major trophy. So let's see what's gonna happen. And for the third straight time Dominic Solanke is crushing the Premier League man he scored again over 30 goals and assisted only once this time so far but look at the season of Kvitsa Kvaratskhelia man 23 goals and 10 assists is a quite improvement from the second season also Hummingson 18 goals and 18 assists wow and Kulusevsky also added 13 goals and assisted 14 times he completely took the role of James Madison but he's performing so much better than him and all this great team performance led to that after 33 games we do have 16 points advantage to the second Manchester United and our next game is versus Leicester and if we win that game you know what's gonna happen we also won our group in the Champions League then in the round of 16 we eliminated Barcelona 4-3 on aggregate man what a teams we're currently eliminating look at us in the quarterfinals we destroyed Paris Saint-Germain 6-4 on aggregate and now in the semi-finals we're gonna face Juventus and the other semi-finals are Milan and Liverpool so we can actually see an English derby in the final of the Champions League and in that game versus Leicester we were super motivated to deliver to these fans their first Premier League title and we did just that we destroyed Leicester 2-1 and at the end of the day we won our first Premier League title what a feeling for these fans man just look at the relief of their faces they're so happy to finally see their team win anything and I'm super happy that we achieved that already in the third season but the review is not over yet, man, because we still do have the semi-finals of the Champions League. And we're also gonna have the final, man. We defeated Juventus 5-3 on aggregate. And in the final, we're gonna face AC Milan. Wow, this is gonna be an interesting game, but I think we're the favorite. And especially with how our team is looking, we should be the favorite. Look at Dominic Solanke, man. He's 89 overall. He has now 84 pace and 90 shooting. Also 88 physical. Kvica Kvaratskhelia, 92 overall. But I'm really impressed by Sonaldo. He's now 92 overall. I really expected for him to decrease in the overall, but he's performing really, really well for Spurs. And looking at this AC Milan squad, yeah, they look good, but we look much better than them. Yes, they kept Rafa Leao and they added Alfonso Davis instead of Teo Hernandez, but overall their team is far far away from our so let's see what's gonna happen in the champions league final oh dejan kulusevski come on come on kulusevski Ooh, he nearly got the ball man this could have been an amazing goal for us but bisuma here won this duo and now this is a great chance for our team madison right now oh dominic solanke what an easy goal for dominic solanke and now we're leading in the 70th minute in the game versus ac milan 
Can we complete the reboot in the third season? This is gonna be spectacular. Ooh, but now a chance for AC Milan here. Rafael Leao, this is a dangerous one, but Miki van de Ven with a crucial tackle. Dominic Sulanke right now to Kvica. Ooh, what about to Kvica Kvaraškelia? Come on, Kvica. Come on, Kvica Kvaraškelia. Mm, can he do the job by himself? I don't think so. Kulusevski. Ah, we should have shot earlier. What was that, Kolosevsky? What a missed chance. Ooh, Alfonso Davis here goes big time. But Miki van de Ver again with a crucial tackle. And now maybe this can lead to a great counter-attack for our team. Kvica Kvarčkele here to Sulanke. Dominic Sulanke, can he do something magical? Dominic Sulanke, he needs someone. Ooh, ooh, Hummingson. Ah, he was in offside, but the idea was amazing. What a mistake from our team, but nice. Christian Romero here Vicario with a huge save but AC Milan played so much better so far in the second half man look at it they're pressing us so well I really hope that we're not gonna concede but it's gonna be difficult but with these type of tackles from Mickey van de Ven everything is possible oh Huming Son come on Son do something man you are our captain Huming Son here we're cross oh we were close here of scoring the second oh Rafael Leo here is through on goal. Nice, Pedro Porro. Wow, this was really close to be a penalty, but Pedro Porro with an incredible interception. Now this is a great opportunity here. What a ball. What a ball from Kulusevski to Kvaradona. Come on, Kvica. Mm, what should we do? What should we do to Madison? Nice, Bisuma. Not the greatest shot from Bisuma, but he's our holding midfielder, not our striker, but he's receiving another chance. How can you miss that Dominic Sulanke? Wow, what a chance here we borrow. Maybe now. Oh, the Jan Kulusevski with the move of the rebuild. Is that going to be a red card for AC Milan? Yes, it is. Now they're down to 10 men with only 10 minutes remaining. Sure, we cannot borrow the Champions League. Last chance for AC Milan. Imagine if they score from this corner. No, they will not. And we did it. Let's go. We finally won the Champions League with Spurs. It took us three seasons, but what a team we created. Dominic Solanke was incredible in all three seasons. And this is the end result. Now we we're the best team in the world by winning the Champions League. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Of course, if so, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But I'm out and I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.